You really want to have an independent jaw. Why independent? Well, you don't want it to depend on the words they're singing. Otherwise, you will get a lot of tension. Like I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. So you want to try to keep your jaw motions minimal, as much as necessary, as little as possible. We're going to practice that today. Before we get into the video, I want to make a really exciting announcement. I have a brand spanking new program that's going to be launched here really, really soon. The information is below. It's going to be so much more than just your average video course. There's going to be community. There's going to be monthly master classes. So check it out. There's going to be a really cool offer for introducing the course. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, let's get started. Whenever you're singing any kind of words, you know, like lyrics, there's consonants and vowels. Open vowels, closed vowels, and consonants that frame them, if you want to say so. So it's like... So you can either move your jaw... In reality, you can sing an M with the position almost of an A ah on the inside so that your jaw can stay in the position. So instead of ma, 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 which every single time I'm going to have to move to go from the M to the A, ah, I can just kind of make my jaw independent of what the words are and stay in pretty much the same position. Ma, 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 ma. And so on. I can do the same with na 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 na. So let's try that. So here it's the tongue that actually has the motion that is relevant, and the jaw doesn't have to move every time. For the la la la. The same goes, by the way, for breathing. You don't want to go. La, 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 la. I see that sometimes. Uh, you don't want to open the jaw wide. All you need is a small opening, like, okay? The same goes for... For some consonants, of course, you're going to need a little bit more motion because they are, by nature, just a little bit more closed. Da, d, d, d. The teeth are kind of closed here a little bit. Or sh. So if I'm going to go... Sh, 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 sh. Of course, I would need jaw motion. However, again, it's really about making the jaw independent of what you have to do. So it doesn't, it's not always coupled to the words you're singing to where you have to move it a lot. That's the concept here. Try to think of the jaw as it is its own entity. It aids in space to open up more, but at the same time, it doesn't have to move each and every time you're changing shape on the inside here because ah mm ah mm ah mm ah uh ah mm ah mm those shapes are actually not so much caused by motion of the jaw but the tongue and the lips and the back of your throat the soft palate and all all that keep that in mind Whenever you're singing through a song, what is necessary, as much movement as necessary to make a good sound, but as little as possible so that you don't get tense around here. Thanks for watching. Check out all the free resources on my website, masteryourvoice.tv, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 
Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Let the sky fall.